The school credit unions are back and starting this month. The credit union will be at Canton on Friday, October 4th, Plymouth Friday, October 21st, and Salem on Friday, October 28th. Credit unions run during all lunches on those days. All students who save will get free cookies from the school store. The Peace of Palestinian Awareness Club needs you to help us raise awareness for the humanitarian situation in Palestine among students at Peace Up. We meet every other Thursday starting October 13th in Canton Room 257. For any questions, contact us through Remind with the code at Palestine9. Photo Club is back. If you are interested in digital or darkroom photography, come check out the Peace Up Photo Club. We will have the first meeting next Tuesday, October 11th, right after school in Mrs. Espinosa's room, 1209 Salem. The club will be held every other week after that. So if you are interested in monthly photo challenges, trying out the dark room and lighting studio, learning new photo techniques, and meeting others who share your interests, come on out to our next meeting. The art department is traveling overseas once again, and this time they'll be visiting both Italy and Greece during spring break in 2023. All Park students and even parents are invited to join on this amazing opportunity. You'll visit ancient Rome and walk inside the Colosseum. You'll also see the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel, tour St. Peter's Cathedral, and visit Pompeii. Then it's off to ancient Greece where you'll see the birthplace of the Olympics, Athens, and the Parthenon, and so much more. There is a parent meeting on October 18th at 6.30. Please visit Mr. Linderman in room 1208 Salem or Mrs. Espinoza in room 1209 Salem for more information. Attention all juniors and seniors college visiting today, including Lake Superior State University, Grand Canyon University, DePaul University. Monday is Toledo Alma Vanderbilt and the Savannah College of Art and Design. Tuesday is Hope School of Craft and U of M Flint. The Career Center page will have all the specifics about locations and times. Take the simple step to prepare for your future by attending a college visit. The University of Michigan-Dearborn is holding a fall open house on Saturday, October 8, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Pre-registration is required. This event is for prospective undergraduate students and their families. This is an ideal opportunity to learn everything you want to know about the Dearborn difference while having the opportunity to tour campus, mingle with academic departments, and campus resources. There are browsing, fair, and here presentations. Hey, peace up. Noah with the news. On Tuesday, a rescue mission dubbed Operation Noah's Ark launched in Florida to catch cage and ferret animals from a Pine Island bird sanctuary. The rescue included two lemurs and a flock of birds, 275 parrots to be exact, including some of the world's rarest. The birds have been relying on food donated by wildlife officials since Hurricane Ian hit, but the supply of fruit, pe peanuts, and other edibles would soon be hard to come by because of the downed bridge to the island and the scarcity of gasoline on the island. In the hours before the storm, the sanctuary owners herded their flock of birds and packed them into the home to shield them from the ferocity of the elements. Many of the birds were rescued from homes that could no longer care for them. Some of the birds are used for breeding rare species. While the, fo while the focus of many search and rescue missions has been on human life, there have been also been pet rescues. That's all, for, that's all for your news, but peace up. Have a good one. Hi, this is Cece with Sports. In college football, Michigan State plays Ohio State in, on Saturday in Lansing, and Michigan plays Indiana. This Sunday in the NFL, the Lions play the Patriots. In the MLB, the Tigers lost their final game of the season 4-5 to five, against Seattle. At PSEP, Canton and Salem football are playing each other tomorrow night at the varsity field. That's all for sports. Have a great weekend, PSEP. Good morning, PSEP. It's James here with your weather. Continuing with our current heat wave, today will be a high of 77 and a low of 44 with cloudy skies and a chance of rain late into the evening. Going into the three-day weekend, fri Friday is a high of 53 and a low of 34, Saturday is going to be a high of 59 and a low of 40, and Sunday finishes off with a high of 66 and a low of 44. That's all for your weather. What's going on, Peace Up? I'm here at the Suburban Collective Showplace in Novi, Michigan. Let's go check it out.
What's going on, PSAP? I'm here with Joe. And uh, we're going to be asking him some questions about this beautiful RV behind us. So, Joe, yeah. what type of RV is this? This is a brand new travel trailer manufactured by Heartland, and it's a North Trail bunkhouse. Awesome. So, Joe, what do you think the most functional feature of this RV is? Functional feature? Yeah, your favorite feature. You can take all your family out and you go camping, create some memories. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What is, do you have a particular favorite feature about this? Anything specific? Favorite feature? King bed, right? If you're tall, king yeah. bed. Nice big bathroom. Got a slide out so you can fit all your family in there. Do you think this camper could be a substitute for a conventional style home? A lot of people are living in them, for sure. 100%. Yep. Awesome. Sell the house, live in it. Yep.